The news today is that Scott Disick flipped his Lamborghini SUV after speeding and crashing into a cement mailbox. What is up with that? Hi, I'm Craig. I want to break it down for you and tell you what you need to know. The news is, is that Scott Disick was speeding or traveling at a high rate of speed, lost control of his Lamborghini SUV and rolled it. And the pictures show that the crash happened in a residential neighborhood. The pictures show that the SUV is laying on its side and had, had apparently rolled. And there is a large uh, concrete block mailbox that was knocked over on its side. Apparently, uh, Mr. Disick is not injured. He was the only person in the vehicle and alcohol and drugs were not involved according to the reports. However, what's important to know is that in order to roll an SUV like the Lamborghini he was driving, he had to be traveling at a very high rate of speed within a residential neighborhood. Now, if you have a Lamborghini, that's fine. You can do what you want with your Lamborghini as long as you take it somewhere where it is safe to drive it at the high rates of speed that it's built to go. But you don't do that, go racing through a residential neighborhood. In a neighborhood like this, there could be people out there um, with their children. There could just be children playing in the neighborhood. People, people could be walking their pets. There are a number of reasons for people to be out and about in a residential neighborhood. And if you're speeding at such a high rate of speed that you lose control and flip a Lamborghini SUV, you are going way too fast. You are putting innocent people's lives at risk, including your own, and you shouldn't do it. You want to race, you want to travel at high rates of speed, there are racetracks, there are plenty of places where you can go and do that. But you don't need to do it in the middle of a residential neighborhood that needlessly puts everybody's lives at risk. So, what is the lesson to learn from this? If you are in a residential neighborhood or even on any street, drive the speed limit. Do not think that you're more important than everybody else and that the rules and the laws apply to everybody but you, that you are above the law. That's not true. You are needlessly putting innocent people's lives and future at risk. Please, please don't do it.